Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading. Uh, so this is for the month of March 2019. Wow, deep reading. Look at my my tiny table is filled with your cards. <laughs> All right, um, so let's jump right in because this I think is pretty interesting. All right, so Capricorn, what I'm getting is that in the month of March, if you haven't already started to have these feelings, it's going to be coming in for you. You, if this reading resonates for you. Um, in the month of March, you may find that there's a problem that's going to kind of start to rear its ugly head. And I think at this time, it's not, it hasn't come yet. So imagine seeing clouds and in the sky and knowing, and then hearing thunder from way off and knowing that a full hurricane is coming, but it's just not time for the hurricane yet, but you can prepare for it, right? So that's where you find yourself in the month of March. So this has two worlds, and what this shows me is that you're here, duh, you're here in this world, but it's almost like you know something is coming because look at this fire. She's looking at this fire here, and she knows that it represents the problem. She knows that it's gotten a little bit more out of hand already because look at this broom. I think that what it shows me is that I think that you guys probably had time to fix this thing, whatever this thing was, but for whatever reason, you didn't take the opportunity to do that. And now it's like, oh shoot. And now you know that it's going to blow. And so it's like, you're wondering, you're, 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 frantically trying to think of a way to actually fix this problem or to evacuate, so to speak, or to just get out of it without getting scathed. And so here is you already starting to plan like an escape route. Like what can I do to fix this problem or to get out of, you know, harm's way? And I think that what you're going to find out is that you may need to take a journey of some sorts, if not figurative, literally, um, what I'm seeing is that in order to fix this problem, you, it's almost like you are trying to reach out to people or you're trying to talk to people, you're trying to get ideas. But I think on some level, you just really wish that you could just get away because this shows me you like on another planet somewhere because this, you know, it's like you on another, that's the earth in the background. I know, right? Looks like the moon, but, um, it's like it shows me you on another planet almost just trying to or is that the moon that's probably the moon but anyway whatever the point is i'm seeing earth <laughs> you're on another planet like you wish that you could just go to another paradigm like just just go somewhere else where where your life and you as you are doesn't exist because you just so don't want to be part of this thing um and I think you might be reaching out to people and whatnot. And what I'm seeing here is I believe that you are going to get advice. Something is going to come through for you. But this is where it, it takes an interesting turn. <laughs> it's like where you're getting this information is just going to be <laughs> interesting. But let's jump into the story. The angels were like, put 18 cards. I'm like, what? 18 cards of this? Usually I'm like doing six. <laughs> so let's, you know, it's a big story. All right, so what Spirit is saying is yes, they know that things are starting to pick up. They know the winds of change are coming. You, They know you're smelling smoke, you're smelling danger, you're smelling catastrophe with this thing. And they're right, something is coming. And as they're saying, and you're right, something is coming, but they're saying, relax, take a chill, um, uh, sit down, have a glass of wine, relax, and don't get caught up in your grief. They're like, don't start focusing too much on this thing because there is some, there's an escape clause or there's some method for you. There's some something there to help you, but you're not seeing it. They're saying that what you need to do is to take a little time out, meditate, think about it, and any information that comes your way, go ahead and just take it. So this lady, uh, I probably should sharpen the card, but I'm too lazy. Um, <laughs> this lady is, you know, holding this cup up to the sky. But what it looks like to me is see these birds, they represent information and she's receiving the information here. So angels are saying yes, that if you're perceiving of an, something that might blow up for you later, they're saying yes, you're perceiving correctly. Um, and uh, but to relax, 
because there is something for you. There's something that's going to come through to really help you out. They're saying to relax, meditate, and take hold of every piece of information that you get. They're saying that you will, that you will probably find yourself having to do some lip service. You know, some people will start to ask questions like, you know, this is blah, blah, blah. What are we going to do about it? You know, what, what are we going to do? What is your plan? What, what strategy do you have? And you won't really have an answer. So there's a little bit of a song and dance that you might have to do to kind of buy yourself some time, they're saying. But um, they're saying, um, yeah, I don't want to see the, I don't want to say that you might have to do a little lying. I don't know, but I'm seeing something here, a little bait and switch, a little whatever duplicity. That's what I'm seeing. A little duplicity. You might end up doing that or might have to do that in order to buy yourself time. But what I'm seeing in the meantime is you're freaking out. That's what I'm seeing. So I don't know. By now, Capricorn, uh, Capricorn, yeah. By now, Capricorn, you should probably be able to know if this reading resonates with you. I don't know. But here, they're showing in the meantime, while you're doing the song and dance routine to try and buy yourself time, you are definitely freaking out. And once again, I see you, like just like in this card, kind of hoping, wishing that you could just be somewhere else with that special person in their arms and just not even... A part of this world anymore you just want to escape and just be somewhere else and that shows me a little bit of dissociation so I'm seeing that um, and I'm seeing that this thing is really scaring you to the point that you're dissociating from your life a little bit so be mindful of that stay grounded um, and uh, don't don't lift off into somewhere else okay because uh, energetically what does that look like it looks like you're your energy field, like if this is your body, you're 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 kind of like out of yourself a little bit. So zzz, just bring yourself back in, relax, and know that there is going to be something for you. Now, here's what's interesting. Going back to this, this is what's going to come in for you to help you. I find it interesting because it's showing that for this thing, you're going to. Yeah, I can't believe this is coming through, but I'm listen, my job is not to think, I just give. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you're going to have to go down. You're going to have to go down. Um, I'm not saying go into the devil dumb, but there's something you're going to have to do that you will kind of don't want to do. Um, Spirit is saying that there is something here for you, but you are not... Like the, I mean, okay, I'm gonna stop being lazy and just come close to this camera. <laughs> Sorry. Look. Spirit is saying that they're sending you an answer. They're sending you an answer uh, right here. Um, they're showing it right there again. They're, they're saying relax, they're sending you something, but look, you're still trying to spin your wheels and you're not seeing this answer coming for you. Here's you out there and you're like, wait, what am I supposed to do now? What am I doing? And you're not seeing that it's right there. What are you doing? You're focusing too much on something that's causing you to miss that answer. What is it that you're focusing too much on? Hold on, let me put these little guys back. What are you focusing too much on? You're focusing way too much, they say, on the fear, what people are saying. Remember, you're going to probably have to do a little lip service. Or you might find yourself doing some lip service. You might find yourself doing some lying to buy yourself time. Um, but see, look at this fire here. You're feeling the burn and people are like complaining. You know, they're like asking questions. They're like, we need you. What are you doing? What blah, blah, blah. And Spirit is saying, you need to turn your back on that. Get into a place of um, of meditation and look look inward. Look for Spirit. Look at this person looking for spirit, grabbing that stick and looking for spirit and inspiration. And they're saying you might have to take a journey to do that. Here's that journey, sorry, that journey card again, right? You might have to move on and take a journey somehow, literally or figuratively, to do that. Now, what I'm seeing here, because I got to be honest, the devil image came up three times in this card, in this reading. So what I'm seeing is that to find the answer to this you're going to have to go into the fire now what does that mean figuratively it could mean um it, well obviously it's not gonna be literally but <laughs> on a super figuratively me meaning it could mean that you're gonna have to face your fears right either way don't keep 
dissociating this again dissociating and going off into nowhere you're gonna have to face your fears face the problem and you're gonna have to do something you don't want to do i know this looks like the knight of cups offering you love no we're not looking at that what i'm seeing is that this is there's something you're gonna have to do that you don't want to do what is that here's the devil again you're gonna have to go straight into the fire whatever your fear is you're gonna have to face it you're gonna have to do it and look this is in back it could have been here but it's not. It, it came here. So I'm feeling that while you're going to have to head in and face your fears, you know, make that phone call, visit that place, whatever, it may not be as bad as you think. You just might be able to get in and get out without being seen by the devil himself, so to speak. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to some of you. All right. And once you go in there, this is what you're going for. That's the answer. Okay. Once you get in there, get the hell out. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oops. I'm getting a doorbell ringing. One sec. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Was not expecting a package, but now I'm super happy. Anyway, um, back to what I was saying, once you get in there, and I'm not going to edit that out, we're just going to move on and pump with it. <laughs> um, once you, here it is. So once again, you're going to have to go into the fire, face the fear that you are really afraid to do, and that's causing you to dissociate. Now, what is that? It could be something as simple as, uh, talking to the person you're most afraid of, going to their office. If it's your father, for some of you, weird, I'm, for some of you, I'm picking up it's family related and I'm afraid that you, and I'm feeling that you're afraid to go back to the house or something because you have to might see your father you might have to talk to him about contracts or just whatever but they're saying you have to do it you're gonna have to do maybe you have to ask someone for money here right you're gonna have to do what you don't want to do and it's you asking for something they're saying go do it because you're going to get the answer to what it is that you need to do and you may not have to meet the devil himself. You may go to the house and ask for the check, you know, to help cover whatever mortgage or whatever you've defaulted on or whatever, for example. And your mom's there, not your dad. <laughs> He's on a business trip and she wrote, writes the check for you. And therefore, you've done what you've needed to do. And you went in, you got that fire, see? You got the answer from what you needed to do. Look, I didn't get this card. I got that card. So what I'm seeing is that you have to bite the bullet and you have to face your fears. You have to do what you don't want to do because doing so, you're going to get the answer that spirit is, is giving you. And I know that you've been getting this answer. <laughs> you don't want to acknowledge it because no one wants to go to their parents or no one wants to go to the IRS and, you know, have that sit down. But they're saying that you're not going to be as badly burned as you think you are. And for some of you, I feel that in so doing... You might try to keep this quiet from some people. You might try to, like, you know, for example, using that same situation, you might not want to publicize and tell everyone where you got the money because you got it from your parents, you know. Whatever it is, that's fine. But Spirit is saying you, you might have to do it, okay? You might have to do it because that's where the answer is going to come. And don't turn your back on this because... I'm just saying, I don't know what your situation is. Again, this is the realm of personal reading because everyone has their different details. But I'm sensing that this could, this does have the potential to blow up, um, whatever this thing is. Um, okay, so let's look down here. These are three sets together. Uh, two sets, excuse me. <laughs> ding, ding. All right, so here again, um, I think... I can say this is me <laughs> or somebody giving you that idea to go do that thing that you don't want to do. Um, and I feel that maybe you might end up doing just that. You might do it in the dead of night. You might keep it quiet. Who knows? But um, this is where you're going to get that information from. Check this out. That's you coming to get it, right? Imagine this person being an agent of this place, wherever this place is, the IRS, someone at your house, right? So you don't want to meet that person. You don't want to meet anybody related to that. But you know that do, 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 
you might have to go there and ask for what it is that you want. But check this out, victory card. Once you do that, you're gonna get what it is that you want, you need and you want. Okay, so bam, have some humility. Take the L on this one. Just go do what you have to do. Take the loss on this one. Just go do what you have to do and it's gonna be victorious for you. So that's a good thing. I mean, I, I just gave a reading for another, um, I can't remember which sign because there's been so many, but where they just have to like take it in the you know what, whatever they had to do and just bite the bullet. Because sometimes we have to do stuff we don't want to do and it sucks. It hurts our pride. It's just terrible. And the other person's going to lord it over us. But you know what? What I'm seeing for you, Capricorn, is you're going to be in March 2019 if this reading is for you. If it's not, then God bless you. Mwah! Then you're with another reading. But if this reading is for you, you're probably going to find yourself in the month of March in a situation that you know that you kind of slept on and you and because you didn't take action it's getting to a point where now you realize you're starting to smell smoke and like oh my god this is going to blow up i need to do something you're trying to you're trying to decide what to do and you know that you're going to have to make that journey you don't want to do it you don't want to go see your parents and ask for money you don't want to go to the irs and negotiate this you don't want to do that but i'm seeing journey in both cards okay um but Spirit is saying that, hey, yeah, you might find yourself doing a song and dance routine and lying to people because they really are starting to ask questions about this. But you have to be relaxed. You're sensing danger and you're right. <laughs> but they're saying, take a chill pill, relax. The answer is coming for you. Me meditate and get all the, all the information that you can. Stop dissociating. You cannot go to another world. <laughs> you can. It's called astral projection. But guess where your body is? You got to come back here at some point, right? Um, so they're saying to relax and consider that option, the option you don't want to do. Nobody wants to go to hell, right? <laughs> Although we want a lot of people to go to hell, but no one wants to go to hell where he's pointing right here. But for you, you're going to have to do the thing you don't want to do because that's the answer that's coming through for you and it's going to help you. Somebody's going to give you the money. Someone's going to give you the answer. Someone's going to sign that recommendation letter. Somebody's going to do something for you and the, you have to just stop thinking about these people and do what it is that you don't want to do. Move and make that move because once you do, you're going to get what you came there for and you're going to have victory with it. And you know what? You're not going to be burned like you thought you were. You probably won't even see the person or experience the thing that you wanted to avoid, right? So that's what Spirit is saying for you for the month of March 2019, all right? So I'm going to end your reading here and rip open that box because I don't know what I got and I'm excited. Um, if you have uh, a desire for a personal reading, you know where to find me. Either way, please check in next month for uh, March, April, April 2019. And pretty soon, I'm, when I'm done with all the Marches, I'm going to do the next weekly reading, which is for February 25th to March 3rd. All right. Um, until then, bye.